Right, let's get right underneath this chimney. Here we go. Get on that one. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> Right, so we're here at um, Tynan Village. This is um, a village that got abandoned in 1943 after the war, and it's uh, something that's uh, yeah, something that's great to explore. So that's what we're going to do now, and uh, we just got here in the car park. Uh, just going to uh, have a look down the village. It's just down there, and the church and the school. And this is a little car park, and it's looking sweet. So we're going to uh, we're going to give it a go. Let's go, Let's go baby. So we're checking out um, the little village here. So there's uh, little settlements there. I'm guessing that, that telephone box there has been kind of reconstructed. Let's go and have a look. And it's really interesting to see what's left here. Phone box story, there we go. So it was a kiosk. During the wow, there's a first public telephone kiosk during the winter of 1929. So that's when this was uh, constructed and been reserved. Preserved, sorry. Look at that, see? Wow, and look at that. Proper old school. Old school vibe. Check that out. Face. Proper dog and bone, that. There we go. Hayley's checking it out. <laughs> That's too much light. Yeah, can you actually go in there? No. No, it's locked. No, it's locked. But oh, it's lovely. Wow. And look at that, see? I am war work. If you must use me, be brief. Wow. Emergency calls. This is this is fantastic. I would say maybe a reconstruction. I mean if dunno. I'll have to look that up actually. Anyone can tell us, uh, just put uh, something in the comments. Please Maybe it's something we've missed. Flowers. What's that say? Please do not pick the wildflowers. Please do not pick the wildflowers. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can't get in there. This is really interesting stuff. And um, the barriers are open today, so the shooting range ain't... Um, ain't uh, shooting. Shooting today. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Um, so, yeah, so... We literally just on a whim, we just went past it because we went to Lulworth. As so, Lulworth is uh, in Dulstead, uh, it's literally just not far away, a couple of miles down the road. Um, and Hayley just said, Oh, we should go to uh, Tynan Village. I'm like, You know what? We should. That's the abandoned village. So, that's what we're doing here today. And we just thought, Why not? It's a Saturday, it's freezing cold <laughs> in the middle of January. Oh my god, but it's definitely worth it because, um, yeah. This is lovely, very lovely. Uh, so we're gonna have a walk around there, a bit further up. More buildings down there. I think there's some more buildings down there. Perhaps we could go and have a look at actually. We do that first? Another little uh, panoramic view we got there, and we're just gonna make our way down there. There's an uprooted tree there, so that's obviously quite recent by the looks of it. We've got a little stream running down there. You can probably hear the trickles of the water. And there's a nice little stream down there. There we go. Careful, you all right? <laughs> Don't fall in. <laughs> we got dinner later. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we've got a building just over there. So let's go and check that out. Is it segregated off? Oh yeah. I'll tell you what, I could just uh, put the camera over the top. Yeah, See, I'm tall enough. I, I, I... <laughs> there we go, I'm six foot, so I can I can get in anywhere pretty much. Yeah, it's segregated off, okay. So it's basically just ruins this this one here. Um, it's fantastic though. Yes, there's a little write up about this one. So it's the Gwil Cottages. Um, this is quite interesting. So it's home of the Wellman family. 
1912 to 1936, home of the Grant family, 24 to 42. So there are two families there. When he was little. Sorry? It's like Zenon when he was little. Oh, it's like Zenon when he was little. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> it. It's past life. Wow. So this is the Gwil cottages we got here then. So this is, uh, well, they're basically just ruins now uh, and what's left. But um, this is really interesting. Interesting to see. And um, that's the cottages there before um, everyone moved out. So, wow. But why would everyone have moved out? It's so far out of the way. It's so far out of the way. That's the thing. It took ages. You know what? It took ages to drive into here, um, and uh, yeah, it's quite an experience. Just sort of going down and looking at the views. What have we got here? About the bars. There we go. There's even a fireplace in there. Fireplace. Oh yeah. Let's have a little zoom in. There we go. They've got a fireplace there. Nice. You could probably hear in the background, there's lots of people come down today. Uh, we actually found it quite hard just to get past them because the road is so small. Um, the cars have had to sort of, yeah, very, very narrow. Is there anything around there, baby? No? Walk around the whole thing. Walk around the whole thing, may as well. It's just, oh yeah, <laughs> it's a stick. It's a stick. <laughs> facing the tree. Where? Where? Oh, blimey. You see that? Yeah, just about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How mad is that? It's a face in the tree. Even quite close. That means. So this, so this bit here must have been where they got their water from, perhaps. Uh, their source of water. I guess, well, yeah, in the 1930s and 40s, I'm sure they had plumbing then, yeah. Um, it's interesting, really, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting, really, yeah. So that's probably where they come to get their water or just, in general, the plumbing for, for that little settlement there. Mm. So that's uh, that's interesting, actually, really interesting. We've got the stream down there. Right, let's go and look at the uh, other ruins and the other uh, places. Right, let's check this out. So we moved on to this little bit. You are allowed to walk in because other people have been walking around here. Yeah. Um, so I wonder what this little bit was. Some sort of... Probably a toilet. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> smells a bit pongy. So this might have been their outside toilet because remember back in the day, toilets were outside, they weren't inside. That looks like another nice fireplace, to be fair. Yeah, it's nice. Really lovely. Cold. <laughs> wow, that's the post office. That uh, is the post office. So this was. That's got a bit in the letterbox, definitely. Goes without saying, doesn't it? Well, I picked it up, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this one, the Row Post Office, home of the Driscoll family. Wasn't it the Driscoll brothers? Was it? No, it was Doc Cotton's family. Doc Cotton's family. <laughs> <laughs> she really looks after. Oh, so. Bless her. So this is home of the Driscoll family, not the Driscoll brothers from Full Full's Nurses. Um, so we've got Sergeant William and Miss Gwendolyn Driscoll, 1918. Um, head of household, Anne Marez, widow, 54, postmistress, daughter, Mary Amelia, 30, teacher's assistant, son, William James, 28, estate mason, son, Arthur, 25, son, uh, Henry Davis, 24. Right, so this was the post office for uh, Tynham. Yeah. Interesting indeed. Wow. They got a nice fireplace there though, so just keep them warm. Yeah, yeah. It is really nice, yeah. Fantastic. Wonder what this was. Couldn't been another toilet, could it? I don't know. Maybe a small bathroom, very small. Don't know. 
would be interesting to know, to be fair. Well, it's probably, I don't know, I don't know. So that was the post office there, but maybe that's... Ah, well, there you go. <laughs> That makes sense. Thanks for that. <laughs> Labourer's cottage. Okay. I love these old photos. Lovely old photos. Yeah, yeah. So you have got the farmer. Labourer's there in uh, 1911. Like me when I was little. Don't worry about that. Does look a little bit like you. Do you think you seen that picture when I was little? Yeah, you yeah. showed me. Yeah. So uh, Ronald Whitelock. There in 1935, Eileen Whitelock. So it's the Whitelock family, mm -hmm. and they've got the Row Labourage Cottage, home of the Whitelock family, 1933 to 42. Oh. And that's uh, Ronald in 1985. Huh. Wow, it's really interesting. So it's the Labourage Cottage, this one. Um. <laughs> 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 Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm intrigued. Yeah. Ooh, what's that? There we go. This is like a little chimney. chimney. It's a lovely chimney. It's a lovely chimney. That's a lovely chimney. <laughs> <laughs> right, let have a looky. Right, let's get right underneath this chimney. Here we go. Get on that one. Lovely jubbly. There we go. Yeah, you've got the windows there. Another exit. We could go around the front way. Yeah. yeah. And, and then come back round. Yeah. So we've got the church just up there. I'm going to give that a go in a minute. So th this was a school right here. So this little bit here. Yeah. So this bit is the. Uh, around there is a school. Let's get a lovely view of the uh, scenery. That is wicked. Fantastic. That's what. <laughs> it's going on YouTube, don't worry. <laughs> so, uh, this one is the Row Schoolhouse. So, uh, the Woodman family, so Norman Woodman. Uh, Mulvina Pritchard and Leona Hearn. So they, those are the ones that worked here. Oh, this is actually the home of the teachers. So yeah, see, it's the home. Oh. So they must have lived it. Well, yeah, schoolhouse. There you go. See, um, interesting. 1900. 1900. Wow, 1927. It's amazing. That's the census there. You see, and that that shows exactly. Who was there? Wow, this is amazing. There's lots of history here. Lots of history. Loads and loads of history. I wasn't expecting this to be honest. No. Do you remember that film, um, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, yeah. <laughs> Does it look like it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. That's all right. No, just chatter away. That's fine. <laughs> it makes it better, actually, when someone else is with me. <laughs> Just sort of banter back and back and forth. Right, let's go and look at that little church now, if you like. Right. Oh, it's that gravestone. Oh no, it's a tree. King George V. King George V. King George V in Ramsgate. There we go. See, it's where my hometown. How mad is that? Ramsgate is massive everywhere we go. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so this is a lovely church here. It's brilliant. Where did you go in there? Oh, you can't even read the writings. They're so old you can't even read the writings on there. Bless them. Can we go in? Tynham Church, so there we go. Let's go over Hayley's head. Boink. <laughs> can we go in? Oh, we can. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. My god. This is amazing. Look at that. This is like a treasure trove. I think I'm maybe leave the rope because it's dark. Yeah. 
shut it again so I can get like a nice photo. <laughs> right. Okay. Lovely. Wow. Might as well open it again. Sorry. <laughs> it's, you know what, it's absolutely freezing here, guys. It's the middle of January and it, oh, we are frozen. So this is Bonds of Tynum. My nose is running. Oh. Oh yeah. I wouldn't expect this. No. I don't know if you can make out it's really dark in here. Um, it's a tiny it's little church. <clears throat> wow, this is a lovely explore. This is fantastic. This is right on my street, this is. Such a lovely abandoned little village. This is amazing. What's that say? If I be lift up will draw all men unto me. There we go. Oh, wow. It's, whoa, whoa, wow. Look at all this. It's fantastic. I want to live here as well, actually. Should we move in? Yeah. Yeah, of course you can, baby. <laughs> we'll probably get told off. They must do. Like People must like come in. For... It's all set up for it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sacred to the memory of the heroes of this parish who fell in the Great War, 1914 to 18. Wow. Look at all those people. All men must die. Really? It is only given to the few to die for their country. Wow. That's a big statement. What page did you open it under? All Saints Day. All Saints Day? Mm -hmm. The Saints of God. The Saints of God. No wanderings done. No one willing to save Yeah, take a picture of that. That's lovely. Wow. See, I'm not a church person at all. I'm not religious. But neither is Hayley at all. But I love... I love church. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I think it's just... Uh, sense of being isn't it and and just in general being a part of something I guess but I love going to like midnight mass on Christmas Eve what's that look how far it goes back this is a time and timeline wow time and timeline so it starts at 3000 BC goes to AD 43 blimey wow. and then all the way down the conqueror. wow and then it filters all the way down to 1899. This, yeah, honestly, like I say, I'm not religious, neither is Hayley. But this is the sort of thing, like, you can go for and explore. Or even if you're just going to, like, a, um, a normal church, uh, like a little ceremony and all that. And I like to go to midnight mass. It's just nice to be a part of something. And, yeah, it's uh, a, a nice, nice experience. So it's in love and memory of the thankful remembrance of Hannah Herworth of Gainford, County Durham, who died on the 11th of October 1933, aged 86, after 45 years devoted service in the family of William Bond of Tynham. Wow. Lots of history steeped in here. That's the house we just walked around? <laughs> yeah. That's the amazing. Original picture of it. That's the original picture of the house we just walked around. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, can you get up? Yes, we could get, yeah, can get upstairs. I didn't even know that. Look, it's, the stairs are there. That's mental. All right, I've got to try that. Here we go. This is what my nanny says when I think. Really? Oh, nice and steep. <laughs> Probably can't see anything here on camera, but get to the top here. Not mind your head going up there. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> and the step. Yep, just down there. Oop, there we go. 
Now look at that down there. It's lovely. You can't really see. I need better lighting with this. Hold on. There we go. Bible. This is the Bible they put up here. In the last few years in the church of St. Mary, my nan lived right next to St. Mary's Church in Sandwich. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Bit, of a bit of a link there again, yeah. This Holy Bible, last to be used in Church of St. Mary, was restored by Royal Armoured Corps Gunnery School in 1981 in memory of the parishioners of Tynan. Warborough through the generosity of the public and the Bond family. Well, there we go. So I've got these little seats up here. So obviously um, they're, uh, they're restoring this uh, church because, well, it wouldn't look so clean, would it really? So yeah, exactly. Well, there you go. Kind of says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> but this is uh, how steep the stairs are. Yeah, no. Jeez. Yeah. Right. Which way should we go? Should we go through that way? So that's the church we've just looked in, and that was amazing. Lots of history, loads of history there. Beautiful. Steeped in history. Absolutely beautiful. So this one here would be the rectory cottages again. Uh, home of the Biles family, uh, 1910 to 1914. And you've got... Um, We've got them all there. Wow. So if we focus in on there, we've got Albert and Sarah's daughter, Dorothy, with her Auntie Daisy, 1930. And uh, Albert Bikes, gardener to Reverend Homan. And some more pictures down there. And we've got Dorothy's children, Sheila and Norman, the Rectory Cottage in 1997, so that's quite recent. And if we go over to there, this is the, uh, this is the school. So, absolutely tiny. Don't bang your head on that. Especially six footer like me, you'd just be like that. Okay, so, Tynum School Exhibition. Let's have a look. You can actually go in. <laughs> oh, wow, I still got the pegs. That is mental. I remember, I remember. Yeah. I don't know if it was my childhood. I think it must have been. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. Wow. I had got a piano. Oh, this is mental. Oh my god. Wow. I was not expecting anything like this. Me neither. This is really special. This is fantastic. So this is the main school bit where they were learning. That's their desks. That's the, the seats they were sitting on. All the books there, look, see? Well, they must be rest restored and everything. And... Let's put my flash on. There we go. The heart of Midlodian. Oh, hearts. There we go. This is mad. I'm literally shaking. Not because I'm cold. No. Was there a lot of lots of energy in here? Yeah. yeah. You think? Yeah, definitely. Wow. This is amazing. The writing was so neat. Isn't it? The writing was so neat. You think now, like everyone just doesn't write anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. So, I'm not sure what this building would be. Um, the battery's running low on this camera. It didn't charge very well. So, um, not sure what this is here, but let's have a look anyway. Uh, it's, it's another rectory here. So, very, very quickly. So, Reverend Sharp's car is outside the rectory, 1930. So, that's what it looked like before. An estate building, definitely. Uh, so, Joan Sharp. 
visit her old home. So Joan Sharp used to live there and she visited way back in 94 um, and she lived here in the 1930s. Wow, this is amazing. It's steeped in history, these places. That's how many children live here. That's how many children that live there. It's a really lovely building. So we're gonna wrap it up here, um, pretty much because the battery's running flat, unfortunately. Uh, this deserves a second go, I think. I think the, there is a bit more to explore. We're just running a bit low on time and running low on battery. But I hope you did enjoy what we did have to offer. What do you reckon, Hayley, sum it up? Sum it up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? It's amazing. Amazing, isn't it? I wasn't expecting it to be so um, informative. Informative, no, exactly. It's very, yeah, it's amazing, informative, and it's... It's absolutely lovely. No, it's really, really lovely. Right then, guys and girls, that's it for now. And uh, we're going to do a second trip maybe, perhaps in the summer or something, when it's uh, much better weather. But it's absolutely freezing cold, it's the middle of January. So uh, <laughs> we're going to skedaddle now, go and warm up in the car and charge the phone and the camera. So, so then, peace out. That's the last uh, of this one. And uh, hope to see you for the next one. So, boom.